Hello everyone! I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. It is now one o'clock and I just wanted to um, do a little everyday eternal video. It's been a while since I've done a live video and I am actually outside of the post office here in Winter Garden. <laughs> and today I want to talk about change. And I want to talk about the kind of change that happens little by little. You see, there are changes that happen from one moment to the next that are kind of like instant changes that are immediate changes, miraculous changes. But most of the time, changes happen little by little. And so today's Everyday Eternal where we try to find eternal truths in everyday situations is about changing little by little. Now this can apply to any area of your life. It can apply to relationships, uh, be it starting or be it ending. It can apply to career choices. It can apply to education. It can apply to addictions. It can apply to behaviors that need to be improved. But the truth of the matter is, sometimes God, things, God does things immediately, right away, uh, just miraculously from one moment to the next. But a lot of times, God does things little by little. And I know that's not something you wanna hear because all of us want everything and we want it now. But the truth of the matter is, a lot of real change happens little by little. So as uh, most of you know, I have been transitioning from my very dark hair into gray hair. And what does this, this has a spiritual truth. So hold on if you're not into like fashion and stuff like that. But I have been transitioning into my gray hair and it has given me a certain boldness to take a big step. I had to take a big step, like chop it all off. And then I've had to take little steps along the way. I have not gone back to the hairdresser, but I personally have been hacking at my hair little by little because I get frustrated when I see remnants of the dark hair. And so I have personally been like randomly chopping off little chunks without any rhyme or reason, just wherever I see a little bit left. And I am pretty much done with my, my bangs, which was the darkest part because I started just little by little, just snipping it, snipping it, snipping it. And so I don't have any more of the brown in my bangs anymore, but it didn't happen right away because I wasn't gonna cut my bangs like all the way up here, like be like, <laughs> I already have a big forehead. But I had to little by little wait for it to grow, grow, grow so I could keep on clip, 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 clipping and get rid of that old stuff. And guys, I'm gonna tell you something. In our lives, sometimes we want things to be immediately just whoop, surgically removed out of our lives. And we want the situation to boom, change and to be resolved and to happen immediately. But the rea reality is most of the time, things happen little by little. So I've been patient. Quarantine has helped, but I've been patient. And I can say, at least in the front part, I have no more brown. And it looks kind of dark here because I do have a natural crown around my head that's dark. But let me show you what this looks like. Look at that. It's like woo, fully white in the back. <laughs> but it didn't happen from one day to the next. I had to wait little by little. And I wanna give you some a Bible verse and an example from the scriptures about God working little by little. And it literally says little by little in the King James Version and in the NIV. So let me read you because maybe you're struggling with something that you wish you could change immediately or that you want out of your life immediately or quickly or surgically removed. Just get it out or cut it out of your life. Maybe you're struggling with an addiction. Maybe you're struggling uh, with a relationship that just lingers and lingers and you know should be resolved. Um, maybe hurts from the past. Well, you know what? Some people are relieved and are healed and are uh, saved from situations immediately. But most of us, we have to wait for God to work little by little. We don't like to hear that, but 
The Bible tells us that he does work, but he works sometimes little by little. So let me read to you from Deuteronomy 7, 22. Listen to what he says. And he's talking to the people of Israel. And of course, they're trying to get to the promised land. And they're uh, just all of these armies waiting to just get rid of them and stop them from reaching the promised land. And all of the ites, the Jezebites, the you know Hittites, the, all the ites are on the other side waiting to battle and listen to what God says you know God could just go boof and delete everybody but in Deuteronomy 7 22 he says this and the Lord your God will drive drive out those nations before you little by little you will be unable to destroy them at once lest the beasts of the field become too numerous for you that's in the New King James Version did you hear that people God is saying that there are some things, he told the people of Israel this, that he will do little by little. And we want it all and we want it now. We've, we live in this microwave, Amazon, uh, <laughs> Domino's Pizza, 30 minute world where we want it all now. But God sometimes works little by little. Just like I had to little by little by little chop off my hair so that it would fully be gray. Um, or silver in the case of the back the reality is in our lives some things we need to work on little by little don't get frustrated don't give up don't uh, give in when things don't change immediately for things to be long-lasting and permanent sometimes they have to go through a process and that means little by little just like in Deuteronomy God told the people of Israel listen I am going to help you defeat these people, but it's not gonna be all at once. It's gonna be little by little. In Exodus 23, verse 29 through 30, and I'm gonna read from the NIV so you can see it says little by little. Little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. Okay, people, some of us need to increase so that God can help us make these changes little by little. If you're dealing with addiction, if you're dealing with relationships, if you're dealing with struggles in your life, if you're dealing with weaknesses in your life, if there are things that you need to change or want to change in your life, don't get frustrated if it doesn't happen from one day to the next because God works on things sometimes little by little and we're called to work on them little by little. In Exodus 23, 29 through 30, he said, I will drive them out little by little until you increase enough to take possession of the land. And you know what? In this case, it was increase in numbers and sometimes it's in numbers, but sometimes it's in maturity, people. Sometimes we need to gain maturity before we can overcome that thing that is being a hindrance or an obstacle in our life. So you have to increase, you have to gain maturity. If you're dealing with an addiction, with a relationship, with difficult things in your life that you wanna get rid of. Sometimes we have to increase in strength, people. Yes, yes, that means sometimes exercise, exercising a lot of things that we have weak in our life. We need to increase in strength. Sometimes, let me tell you, you just need to increase in age. Maybe this is not the moment for whatever you've been looking for or asking for. You have to wait and God will work little by little. Just like he's done with my hair, letting it grow little by little. I've been patient and I've gone through the process. It's not easy. You either want to have it all silver or just dye it again to get rid of the in-between stage, but no. Sometimes you have to increase in wisdom. Sometimes we're just not wise enough. We have not learned enough from experience to be able to make that total change. Sometimes you have to increase in your willpower. Maybe you're weak at this moment and you're not able to make those decisions or those changes in your life, but God can help you with all of those. Increasing you in maturity, increasing you in, in strength and age, of course, with time, in wisdom and in the strength of your will. Listen, one of my favorite verses is in Romans 12 2, and it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Guys, the renewing of your mind is an ongoing process that the Holy Spirit does. So if you're struggling with addiction, with relationships, with memories, with pains, with struggles, um, or with situations, I have read two verses from the Old Testament where God was speaking with Israel and literally told them, I'm going to help you, but it's going to be little by little. 
And I have also read that the renewing of our mind, which means the changing of our habits, our thought patterns, our behavior, all of that happens as a process of the Holy Spirit in our life. But we have to do our part too. So ladies and gentlemen, just like my hair transitioning where I have had to wait little by little by little and it looks so bad when it was starting and I'm so happy with it right now. Um, I have had to wait little by little to get rid of all that brown that I had deposited on my hair. And now this is my natural color, pretty much it. And I kind of like it, <laughs> but it was not from one day to the next. It took ugly hair time. It took drastic haircut time and it took patience and little by little pruning and working on it. In the same way, your life, there are things in your life that aren't going to change from one day to the next. It's going to be little by little. And yes, it's God. God works little by little, not just like Shazam from one moment to the next. Sometimes he does that. Sometimes he doesn't. So if you're in the process or want to start a process of change in your life, of renewal, of letting go of certain things, of moving beyond hurts and past situations and relationships and struggles, if you want to change anything, including your body, your mindset, your vocabulary, all those things, it's probably going to end up being a process that happens little by little. I'm going to say it, you're going to have to be patient. For these results, there are many things that I could have done artificially to get here, but I did it naturally and I waited for the process. Sometimes it's from one day to the next, sometimes it's little by little. Trust God, hold on, stay firm, surround yourself with people who will help you understand this process or who have gone through this process and then come to the other side. You will see that God will be in every step of this little by little process. Don't give up. How did I dare to do all this? I watched videos, I joined Facebook pages, I have researched for at least a year to be able to decide, okay, I'm gonna do this. And of course I have inspiration also. I have a beautiful lady, Kim Blaylock from my church who has beautiful silver hair and she's young and she's beautiful and her hair is just amazing. And surround yourself with people who are what you would like to be. And that will inspire you, that will motivate you, and that will help you as you see them. Now, you don't put them up on a pedestal because if Kim dyes her hair for any reason, I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, no. But she inspired me and she helped me dare. And so did all of those pages that I belong to and all of those videos that I watched on YouTube of people who were not necessarily older and decided to do this. The process was long, but it was little by little. But you know what? I'm so happy with it. And I hope that at the end of your process, you can say, "Woo, that was a process. It was long. It wasn't easy. I did it little by little. God helped me little by little, but I made it through. It's an amazing, amazing feeling. So God bless you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And remember to always seek eternal principles in everyday situations because God is showing us things all the time. Every moment is a teachable moment for our God. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, 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 I pray and I hope and I uh, bless you with shalom, the peace of God be with you. Bye. You like it? You like it? Woo! Little by little, it happened. Bye-bye. <laughs>